I watch um, a kind of uh, game and what kind of uh, opponents do you expect to have tomorrow in charge? I think so. Um, again, I'm very much similar situation like uh, Tuesday and of course a different uh, competition. I think Charles uh, started out really good in this uh, season, but the last matches of the new coach, I think they got new energy and um, so I think I expect a team who's uh, yeah, fighting for their chance, um, like they did also last season. So um, we have the, the, the memories about that. So I think um, for us it's important to, to focus on ourselves, of course, to analyze the opponent, but to play another um, good uh, away match because we need uh, the points. So I think that's very clear. So um, I expect, like always, a tough game, but we are in good shape, so I think we played a good game, a way match. So we have now three way matches in a row, so it's not, never easy for the players, but they showed it on uh, Tuesday that they are ready, and uh, tomorrow we will, we will, will be uh, ready again. Uh, yesterday, some players uh, published posted a photo of them in a g gathering in a dinner. Uh, do you think that they felt the need to show that that they are united? The team is united. Um, to be honest, I haven't seen the picture, but um, yeah. I think um, it's something they're doing um, um, often. So I think I think uh, it's always a good um, good signal if players doing things together, not only on the football pitch and in training, um, also uh, sometimes uh, private. So yeah, I like these things, um, but I think uh, I'm now one and uh, more than one year here. So I always felt that the team is very good connected, the spirit in the team is top. So I have no doubts about that. So it's not we did something special because of the situation, it's something because the, like, the players like to be together and uh, that's it. Mr. Schmidt, Joana Pires, TV CNN in Portugal. Looking um, to this squad, um, and for example, uh, the right side of the defense, do you think that something failed um, with the squad planning this season? No, I think, uh, of course, at the moment we have with uh, David Neres, with Alex Barr, and with uh, Orkum Kirkchi, we have three players um, injured for, for the next games. So um, it makes it a little bit more uh, complicated, um, but I think we always uh, try to find uh, solutions. We, we knew before that on the right back position, uh, we have one, who is one player with Alex Barr who is used to play this position, but we, we trust also that with our squad we are able to find solutions if he's, if he's not available, like we already did. So we know that uh, Frederick Aunas is a player who can play different uh, position on, on a very high level. So. Um, we have uh, with Joe Victor player. We try to to uh, improve also his uh, his um, uh, yeah his quality uh, on this position. So he's actually is more centre back than a full back. And uh, right now with uh, with the situation on the left uh, back uh, um, um, uh, position, I think of course we we try to find the best approach for the players who are available uh, right now and who are in the best shape. So that's what I explained also on Tuesday. So. I think um, if, if you have some injuries, you have to find solutions. And um, we, we played with a different formation. That's an option. We play actually the same football. It's not like we change the football. It's only we ch change a little bit the setup on the pitch, depending on which players are in a good shape and available. And so I think our, our squad um, is in total very balanced. Um, so I, have, I see no. Um, not, a, not a mistake in the planning of the squad. I see uh, that a few players are not available and we have to find solutions, but that's normal. Pedro Ernesto Souza, CMTV. Do you know if Ba and Coxu can play against uh, Sporting? No, I don't know, but I expect that they cannot play. Coach Antonio Pedro Carvalho para, para a RTP. Uh, this uh, will be the most uh, decisive week since you arrived in Benfica because you have two important games uh, to the um, championship uh, like Chavez and uh, after Sporting. 
and after the game about uh, Real Sociedad. Is the most difficult actually, the week for you? Actually, I was waiting for this question <laughs> because, <laughs> because I think we had this question even in the, each single press conference. So that means uh, yeah, the, the goals at Benfica are very high huh? because everything is important and every single match is important. And um, yeah, you know how, how it is. So we want to become champion this, uh, this year. And of course, uh, also in an international competition, we want to achieve something special. We started not, not good, so that's very clear. And uh, now, um, first of all, we have to focus on tomorrow. So to work on our situation in the league, to get three more points and to have, to have the chance also then in the next home match um, to fight for the first place. Um, and then we will focus on uh, Champions League and of course that we feel that we, that we are not uh, playing on our um, level and we are not happy with the situation and Champions, Champions League is very clear, um, but step by step. So I think um, we play in, in, uh, you know, in three matches in three different competitions. We started on Tuesday in a good way to, to keep our chances in the, in the League Cup. Tomorrow uh, we need three points uh, in Chavez and that's our complete focus and then we, we can talk about the Champions League match. Hello coach, Fernando uh, Rubano I would like to ask you about the, this new tactic. You said that the way you play football is the same, of course. But it seems that some players feel more comfortable, like Di Maria, like Artur Cabral, for instance, and even Gonzalo Gage. I would like to talk, to ask you to talk about more what the the, uh, the advantages and disadvantages of these both uh, tactical lines. Please. I think it's not really depending on the on the formation. I think, uh, of course, um, like you say. Um, the players we played, I think, first time like that. I think we did it a few times when we when we were one one uh, player down um, when we got the red card. But I think in general we played always with a back four. I think yeah, some different um, then some differences in the tactical behavior of some players, but also a lot of things are very similar. And I think um, you can play in this system, uh, like I say, you can play high pressing, you can play. Um, um, attacking football with a lot of players involved in attacking. Of course, the, the runs, the, the spaces are a little bit different, but at the end, I think we have a lot of players who are very intelligent. Um, and um, of course, the biggest difference probably is for, for John Nevis and for, uh, for Frederick Aunes because they, they have to play a um, completely new, new, new role. David is, uh, uh, Frederick is a bit used to it as a fullback. For Joao, I think it is a little bit different, but I think also he uh, interprets this uh, this uh, position in a very good way. So they don't, we have not really clear uh, physical wing backs who are very straight, more footballers on the side, but it could be also an advantage like we saw. Um, and um, so the players, they are very good connected. And that's why I think it was not a big problem for the players to change a little bit some details. Uh, and to perform on good level, and I think um, the, f the shape of the players will increase. They will improve for, for sure. Uh, all the players, like you said, so like Arthur, like Gonzalo Guedes, he hasn't played so much. Each minute is good for him. And then, and he showed also on Tuesday that he can play um, as a as a central striker. Once Alguetsch played as a striker in Aroca, this year do you count on him more for this position than uh, for the wings or, or as a second striker? Well, I think the um, first uh, goal was to, to make him fit again, to bring him back on the pitch, to build him up physical wise and um, I think now we are in a, in a good situation. He's not on, on his uh, top level, but I, I think he already showed that he's, uh, he's back. And then he's a player who can play different positions. For um, Tuesday, I think um, Peter was, uh, was ill, so we had different options. And at the end, I decided for a player who is very good with his timing for deep runs. And um, so he was the one who uh, got a chance on this position and he showed that he can play this position. He's used to play more from the from the left side. Uh, he can play also as a second striker. So I think he's a player who can who can adjust always depending on on um, on my ideas also for the for the game and for the tactical 
um, approach and um, so that's very good because I like this because he's not only fixed on one position I think he's a player with experience and also with um, intelligence to interpret different position in his in his way Good afternoon Mr. Schmidt uh, Martin from Nusper Record I would like about you the, the new system with the three central backs uh, you said after the match, uh, Benfica didn't uh, suffer any goal. It's uh, possible to use this system for next match um, with um, Real Sociedad and Sporting. Is a good, uh, a good system for strong uh, uh, opponents. Yeah, first of all, uh, so I, at the moment I'm completely concentrated for tomorrow, so I, I don't think uh, about these matches. But um, I think uh, the first match was good, so I think in our situation with the players who are available right now, I think uh, brings us um, uh, good um, control on the pitch. I think to have uh, Morato on the pitch, I think is also uh, a big advantage because he's a top player and uh, of course in the other system with two centre-backs sometimes it's difficult to to give all the, the centre-backs um, uh, time, match time. Um, so I think it's an option for the future, for tomorrow, for the next matches, but of course we can also play in our, um, our, our other formation, so, but um, I think um, it's for sure an option. Termina aqui a conferência de imprensa de Roger Schmidt, aqui esta última questão 